Hello and welcome back to the channel. So today is going to be um, a couple more project shares using my dies from Scrap Diva Designs. Um, this is all of Erica's information, her website and all that. So make sure you guys are following along on the hashtag so you guys can get inspiration from all the design team members plus anybody who you know is using her products can post there to share your share your designs with everybody and so it's a real fun way to get inspiration so lots of inspiration over there so anyway um i've shared a couple of these already with you um but i i'll just give you a kind of quick look again at some of these that i already did this is the journal page pocket um, that I made a card out of. Okay. This is such a pretty die. I'm so glad I got this one. This is gorgeous. These are the cute little um, ladybug heart tags. This is a die from Eric. I already had in my um, stash, the bow bag topper. The cute little um, card stands. So handy and useful. So I'd already shared that one. And I already shared um, this. This is the um, flower pot gift card die set. Really cute. So I love this one. And um, I made a cute little envelope to put this, to put it in. So look how cute that is. I love that. So there's that, which I had already shared. Um, I already had shared this one. This is the um, doily handbag. So this is the first one I made. So there's that one. Um, since I shared that last one, I made another one. This one, I actually did the base of it in um, on a little um, how to put it together type thing. And so since then, I've decorated it. So this one, I didn't put a handle on. I put cute, two cute little um, brads that matched really well. I just put those in there. Um, I added some chipboard and cabochons and um, little flags and bows. Um, cute little bling piece on each side. Little um, feet on the bottom. And then I just tied it <clears throat> up with some of this, um, whatever that's called. <laughs> I can't remember. Um, from Hobby Lobby. And I just think that turned out really cute. So <clears throat> I've made that since then. <clears throat> and then I also shared this that I had already made. This is the tag flip <clears throat> that I made using um, the um, scallop circle shaker tag set. This came out really pretty. So I love that. Okay, and then um, I started playing with the um, pop-up card. So um, I made this one. I think it turned out really pretty. So all these projects here, everything I'm gonna show you except for one, I'm using the Wildflowers collection from Simple Stories. It's such a pretty soft collection. And I love these cute little um, uh, tigers that they have in there, They're really cute. So here it's here is the pop-up card, okay? So it pops up. Um, I've used some of the letters from the collection to spell hello and I got that I have them all mounted on um, you know acetate pieces attached back there okay um, I used um, a couple different flowers from Erica's um, some are the Sakura flowers and then the other are flowers that come with the um, with the pop-up card set okay um, let me show you So here's the pop-up card set, and I don't know what I did with the flowers. There's the tools that come with it. I must have put the flowers on something else because I'm pretty sure it does, the flowers come with that. Maybe I'm not remembering right, but I thought there was a little set of flowers that went with it. Oh no, that's with the flower pot. The flower pot gift card has some flowers in that. Okay, so that's what I use. Some of them for were from that set, and then some of them are the Sakura flowers. And then there's got these little leaves, and put a little trim down here. And I don't 
know why my camera is coming out. I got a new iPhone and I had a, um, whatchamacallit, Android before, and my pictures were always so bright and pretty and I just keep playing with this and I can't seem to get it. I mean, this stuff just looks so dark. Even my skin looks so dark. Um, I have a little bit of a tan, but not that much, you know? Um, so I don't know why it's doing this. I've been trying different things. Turn on light, that just kind of made it. Um, let me see if that does anything. I mean, I have natural light coming in from the window right behind me. Um, yeah, I just, I don't know why it's, I'm just not happy at all with it. And I keep fiddling with all the things and it just doesn't seem to get any better. Um, and this is the stand that um, I had already made previously, the card stand. I didn't decorate it, I just layered it all up. And so this fits uh, very nicely on here also. And then this will also fit in um, this envelope that I made. So the thing about pop cup cards, they're meant to fold down so that you can um, put them in a um, in an envelope, and then when the person receives it, they can pull it out, you know, open it back up, stand it, and you know it's got all that dimension again. So that's the really nice thing about pop up cards. So that's that one. Okay, I made another pop-up card. Um, I posted this one on my Instagram. So this one, um, I made a Father's Day card. This is Happy Father's Day. This is from Erica's shop too that I purchased um, last year when it came out. It came in a set, I think it had, I think it was a set, I think it said Happy Father's Day and Happy Mother's Day. And I liked the fonts and everything, how it was all together. So I, I, I got that from Erica's shop. I think she probably still has it. I would imagine that's kind of a staple that you'd probably want to have in your, you know, in your shop, so. I didn't check, but I'm, I'm just guessing. And um, then I put dad here. I used a bunch of, um, this is the collection I used for this. It's um, by Pebbles, it's called Americana. So this is the pad I used. And then I had a bunch of these, um, you know, red, white, and blue things that I used to decorate it. <clears throat> I decided to go with the red, white, and blue. I didn't have hardly any masculine paper, <coughs> excuse me. Um, and my husband is a veteran. He, um, um, served in the, in the Air Force, um, when we were first married. And so I always like to thank him for that and remember that and the sacrifice that he, and, and, you know, we all made while he was gone, um, to different parts of the world. So, um, anyway, um, I really appreciate all that he did for our country. So um, I wanted to kind of just bring that out and remember that Happy Father's Day, Dad. And so I have a bunch of these different um, stars at different levels. You know, some attached to the the front right here. Some attached to the inside of this pop up layer. Some attached to the back of the pop up layer. Some attached to the very back. And then I have like a little heart up here some of the little gems here. So I think it turned out really cute. I love this goose. And then what I did also, <clears throat> since I was making a more masculine card, is, you can see on the top, I cut off the um, scallop. So rather than have the scallop doily edge, <clears throat> God, I'm sorry, my, <coughs> my allergies are acting up and I can't talk. Okay, so I cut all, I just trimmed all that off um, so that it, you know, was had a more of a masculine look. So anyway, that's that. And then I just um, cut the lining piece again and I put on the back, I stamped lug and hugs from, uh, from all of us. So I'll just all sign that and then you can just display that. So I thought that turned out really cute. So you can do a ton of different things with that pop-up card. <clears throat> so that's, Another project, and then the last one that I've made that I'm going to share this time <clears throat> are these gorgeous little things. So this is using the scallop circle shaker tag. Love this. It is so pretty. I'd like to say, I, I've already showed, shared with you, I made the, sh the, the tag flip using it as a tag. These ones I made so they would be like um, embellishments. 
so pretty i love them so i've got the um scallop heart <clears throat> heart edge back here i made these um shakers also um pattern paper behind here a little sequin mix um, i used a whole reinforcer up here from heidi swap um cute little bow that was in my stash already um and then on foam i put this gold um floral piece as a layering piece that i already had in my stash i tucked some tulle behind here um, I got the, the Sakura flowers here. These are cut out of this um, like blue striped vellum. So I have like one tucked back here and then um, <clears throat> two more um, uh, out here on the front. Um, I used a sticker from my Maggie Holmes sticker book. Um, this is a air, this uh, wavy type little flag, pin flag. This is the pin flag set from Erica's shop also love this i use this all the time and it comes with so many um <clears throat> so many different ones let me show you <coughs> this is one set so you've got stitches you've got knot stitches you've got all the different shapes it's really cute i use this all the time it is a must-have and so anyway i just layered up just used it as another layering piece and then just put a tiny little seam <clears throat> that was from the sticker sheet from this collection and then I put just put a little bit of these cute little stars there on the for the centers and I think they turned out really pretty what do you think love them okay so those are my latest projects um, I will make sure that I um, link all of Erica's information down below so go check out her website she has tons of fun dies always having nice new fun releases and um, I do have a discount code. It's Polka, P-O-L-K-A-10, that you, you can use when you check out to save yourself 10%. Um, I have an affiliate link, too, if you want to use that. It'll um, share a little bit of the, um, uh, pri the profit with me. Um, yeah, so <clears throat> hope you enjoyed this video. Sorry for all my <clears throat> frogs in my throat. <coughs> so it happens when you have allergies. Um, thank you so much for watching and um, coming back to my channel and following along. And I will be back shortly with more projects to share. Thanks, everybody. Bye-bye.